Hello all, my name is Barry and today I'm going to be presenting a overview of setting up a basic NEMO test suite that runs through Grunt and Grunt Loop Mocha. To start off with, you're going to want to install a couple dependencies into your project. For Grunt, you're going to need Grunt and the Grunt Loop Mocha dependencies. This allows you to actually set up and run the tests through Grunt. And additionally, you're going to want NEMO and any of the Nemo plugins that you want to include with your test suite. Uh, lastly, you're also going to want to install on the global level the Grunt CLI, which allows you to actually run Grunt from the command line. So once you have all that stuff set up, you're going to want to start building out your test suite structure. Uh, typically, you have your tests all stored in test slash functional. In the config folder, you have all the configs for Nemo set up in there. Uh, you're going to want a config.json, which holds all of your default configurations, and then environment-specific JSONs if you have different environments that you run Nemo against, like uh, a test environment or local development. Uh, so Nemo will actually pick up which environment you have based on the node and variable and load additionally that JSON and override or extend the default config JSON with it. So in the default config JSON you have a couple things that you're going to want to configure. Plugins is where you configure any of the Nemo modules that you're loading with it. So you can see here we're actually loading a, a couple of different things in this example project. Then you have driver Driver is the things that are used to set up a lot of the Selenium capabilities and things. Uh, the only really required driver option is browser, which tells it which browser to use, obviously. And then additionally you have things like server. If you want to tell Selenium to hit a specific server instead of your local instance to run the tests, you have server properties or server props that you send with it that's any extra configuration or anything that you want to have Selenium load up. And then you have server caps, which are the uh, web driver capabilities that you can set within Selenium. Uh, these are used for things like Sauce Labs and, and stuff like that. So once you have all that up, you're also going to want to fill in any extra data that you want to have loaded in when you load up Nemo. Your, these are things that your app or your uh, test files are going to use when you do things like loading up the base URL of your application. So once you have your configuration files all set up, you're going to want to start building out your test files themselves. Inside your test files, you're going to have these before and after blocks, which are necessary to actually set Nemo up and shut Nemo down at the end. In the before block, all you have to do is, is basically instantiate Nemo. Uh, that's it. Nemo should figure out all the information it needs based on what Loop Mocha sends it and what's on the environment. So that's all you have to do. And then when it's done, you just tell, tell the web driver to quit, and that's it. Uh, and then each of your tests has their own functionality inside them. You can build it out however you want. So once you have all your tests built out, you're going to need to set up Grunt so that you can actually run them. So the first thing you need is a Grunt file. In the Grunt file, you're going to tell it, uh, for our project, we have a tasks folder that lists out all the different tasks that we can do with Grunt in this project. And then we have additional things registered to different commands. So here we're registering registering the loop mocha task to automation. So if we run grunt automation, it'll run that task. Uh, and that's the one that we're, we're going to be looking at for this demonstration. So if we look at loop mocha, we can see there's really not a whole lot to it. Uh, it's just a bunch of options configurations. So the way it's set up, source is a path that represents all of the JavaScript files that make up your whole functional test suite. Uh, base directory 
and Nemo base directory are the location of the functional folder where config is in inside of that folder and uh, any of the other plugin related stuff is inside of there too. Mocha is all of your Mocha specific options. Uh, for us, we use, we set up timeout as a default that normally Mocha has a two second timeout, which is way too short for functional tests. So we specify this as the default, but you can override it by doing dash dash timeout uh, when you run it. And then grep is basically selling it what to look for, if anything. So in this, it'll only run tests that have this key in, inside the uh, test name. Debug is whether or not you want to run uh, the process as a node process in debug mode, if you want to attach a debugger to it or anything. And then reporter is the way that it prints out to the screen or writes in general. Uh, there's a bunch of different reporters for Mocha, and uh, I, I suggest you take a look and figure out which one is, is right for your tests. Next we have Loop. Loop is any of the Loop Mocha specific options. Uh, typically there's not a whole lot that people specify in here. Uh, Parallel is one of the big ones though, which allows you to run uh, multiple files at a time or multiple iterations at a time depending on how you have parallel set up. And then lastly is iterations, which is the different times that this is run. So each iteration is run when you run Loop Mocha and you can override or specify new options within the iterations. So for instance, if I wanted to have it run in local development mode in one run and then uh, test mode in another, I could specify that in iterations. So that's pretty much it for setting up your code. So now all we have to do is make sure everything's installed. So we'll do npm install again. And then we run the node app. Give it a couple seconds to let it fully load up. And then we're going to do grunt automation. You can see that it's starting to fire up all the the Nemo stuff, and it's running the test suite that I that's built inside of the the example app now. So uh, that's pretty much it for this presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, and I'll answer however I can. Uh, as well, I plan to do a couple more of these on the plugins and stuff. So uh, look out for them too.